Robert Louis Stevenson once said, find out where joy resides and give it a voice far beyond singing. For to miss the joy is to miss all. Good day, beautiful soul. Matt here. Welcome to another session on Intention Inspired. We are on segment seven of the Art of Self Discovery, created by Marva Midkiff over in the art room. And this week's segment is all about expressing ourselves. So get yourself cozy, grab your journal, a comfortable space, your favorite beverage, perhaps a snorkel because we're diving in. So if you joined us on our last segment, which was all about feelings and emotions, it may have occurred to you that it's not only our, quote, negative emotions that we've been burying. We are social species. Our connection to our tribe is of the utmost importance to our well-being. And sometimes we try to make sure that we don't upset the apple cart by seeming like too much. If we've been led to believe that what others think or feel is somehow our responsibility, it is likely that we will contain our passion or joy in order to protect them. Imagine, imagine unknowingly walking into a group of people that are discussing the pain of something like, uh, like an upcoming divorce and say you just won five thousand dollars and you're coming into that space what does your quote training tell you is the appropriate behavior so in this segment we're going to observe how we may be masking or burying our passion our enthusiasm our joy or other quote positive emotions and why. And we're going to explore this through the same inspirations that we have been doing in each of these segments, which is our sacred pause, our intentional affirmation, our beautification exercise, journal prompts, reflection, and create. So let us begin with a pause. The observations that we're making by turning our focus inward towards ourselves is exactly what we need to discover our own beauty. That's capital B, inner being, beauty. And when we finally begin to accept who we are, where we are, we also become aware of our current relationships and they become feeling more authentic and stronger. The beauty that we see in ourselves becomes the beauty we see in all things. So let's practice. If you can, find yourself sitting quietly for the next minute, focusing inward. Can you remember and feel into joy? What does a joy feel like? freedom, optimism, love, passion, what experiences come to mind, come to heart, come to your being when we feel into these wonderful expressions? Can you move from one to the other and feel the difference? Feel free to take a moment feeling into these yummy, beautiful feeling places and just notice and observe. Moving into today's intentional affirmation, feel free to repeat after me. 
I express my feelings and emotions honestly. I have the wisdom and courage to love. I know my emotional language. Sometimes a splendid expression of emotion strikes a chord in our conditioning. Do you have a memory or a feeling like you were expressing your enthusiasm, joy, or, or passion too largely? Or you felt like it was too much? Perhaps you were told as a child that you were too loud, too enthusiastic, too emotional. Search for large expressions of emotion, positive or negative, either by finding a group and observing, maybe watching a, a, a video clip, or just remembering one of your own experiences. Although we are searching for beauty, there is a lot of information that can be gathered doing this exercise. Information that pertains to our own conditioning and beliefs. So in our beautification exercise today, we are just going to find the beauty in the magnificent freedom of emotional expression. <sighs> How does it feel? Feel free to take a moment to document your observations in your journal. Moving into our sentence completion journal prompts. So the way this works as a reminder is I'm going to begin a sentence and without judgment or analysis, we are just going to complete the sentence. We just want to hear what our subconscious has to say. And sometimes we may feel stuck or pause or nothing's coming. So that's just a good opportunity to just write something. And that will kind of break through the conscious into the subconscious with practice. So in the last segment, we looked at how our so-called negative beliefs could be affecting our reality. And in this segment, we're going to find any possible resistance to expressing our positive emotions. So journal and writing device in hand, or if you don't have your journal on hand, you can just as easily complete these sentences in your mind. Just noticing how you naturally want to finish the sentence. Okay, let's begin. I can remember feeling happy when sometimes today I feel happy when sometimes when I feel happy I Sometimes I try to hide my happiness by One of the ways my disguised happiness comes out is If I were more accepting of my feelings of happiness If I were willing to let people see my joy, sometimes when I was younger, the frightening thing about letting people see my joy was Sometimes, today, the frightening thing about letting people see my joy is...
if I were to live more fully in the present, if I were willing to breathe deeply and feel my joy without restraint, I am beginning to suspect If I allow myself to understand what I have been writing, and lastly, if my subconscious has been learning more than I yet know, Nice work to dive deeper into the suppression of our positive emotions. We can change the word joy or happy from the sentences that we just explored to emotions like love, loved, excitement, freedom, passion, enthusiasm, you name it. So feel free to play with that. And if you want to double down, hey, triple down, another exercise that can be very informative and transformative is to do the sentence completions from the past two segments for every day for a week. You will see some, some duplicate endings, um, but that's okay. New information will also be revealed. So how about you? What's one thing you discovered about yourself, your beautiful whole self during today's journaling exercise. Worth mentioning that within each of these segments, there is a discussion that we have as a community, sharing what things come up for us, inspirations, ahas, discoveries, and it's so beautiful. And you are certainly welcome to join. You can find a link for that wherever you're listening to this. Come join us over at intentioninspire.com and Find a like-minded community who's um, just supportive in the journey of self-discovery. So beautiful. So let's reflect. We can do this by reading over the journal sentence endings that we've done regarding our emotions. We can add any observations that are occurring. Are you surprised by any of your observations? Seems like many people are more concerned with avoiding hurt and rejection than with fully experiencing joy and love. In the end, we sabotage our own happiness and never feel fully alive. We are not prisoners of our conditioning if we are aware. We can ease into our emotional expression with baby steps. We can be seen and heard and we can love fully and be loved fully by beginning now and speak to the authentic language of our emotions. A large part of our self-discovery is accurately identifying which emotion we are feeling at any given time, where we are feeling in our body and just letting it be expressed without judgment towards ourselves. So how about you? What have you learned about your positive emotions and your ability to love and receive love? Wrapping up today's session with a prompt to take action and create. Sometimes it's helpful for others to be aware of our true emotions so they can better understand us and our behaviors. This awareness makes our relationships stronger. It is vulnerable and authentic, powerful when we can do it. 
this work we're doing to accurately identify our feelings and expressing that is so expansive and it's a journey to be able to feel comfortable expressing all of our emotions within a group or with certain individuals. And it's nice to have our journal page or whatever creative endeavor we're engaging with to be able to authentically and vulnerably express and play and be exactly how we are to be safe and feel free and so that's that's why our creative exercise today is to create in a way that expresses our emotions and feelings authentically and vulnerably so whether you take 15 minutes to bust out the watercolors and throw colors on a page or maybe you already have a creative endeavor that you're going to be diving into today how can you approach it in a way that allows you to express and tap into your feelings and emotions so that you can in embed your authenticity and beauty into whatever it is that you're doing ah <sighs> Good stuff. That wraps up today's intentional session on expressing ourselves. We have one more segment on this epic journey, and it's all about reflection. And in this, our integration of all of this, this masterpiece that we're creating by understanding ourselves, our inner landscape, and how that reflects outwardly and becomes our reality. It's the most beautiful work I have ever engaged with, so I am honored that you are listening and doing it as well. It's so beautiful and it ripples far and wide. So thank you so much for showing up for yourself. You're so beautiful. Oh my good, 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 goodness. God, it's gorgeous, you and we. I look forward to singing with you next week on Reflection. Until then, enjoy the day, enjoy yourself, peace and love.